What's up guys, Chigs there from Chigs Tech Reviews. So as expected, we have seen some amazing new smartwatches in 2019. And in this video, I will share with you my favorite picks from over a hundred different smartwatches that I have already tested this year. Now this video is going to be a guide to help you choose your ideal smartwatch and show you what is the best out there. So if you have no limitation in money, and you want the best overall smartwatch you can currently buy, which include the best fitness tracking, the most accurate heart rate sensor, Bluetooth phone calls, third party app support, five ATM waterproof and the list goes on. So the best of the bunch, we're gonna begin from the bottom of the list. So at number 10, we have the TicWatch C2. It's nice and compact in size, AMOLED display, and this is one of the cheapest smartwatches you can buy that has the official Wear OS by Google. So number 10, TicWatch C2. So at number nine, we have the Z-Blaze Thor 5. Full Android smartwatch, AMOLED display, built-in camera, takes a SIM card, so you can be used as a standalone smartphone watch. Z-Blaze Thor 5 is my number nine choice. So at number eight, we have the Cospit Prime. So this is a dual camera smartphone watch. You can put a SIM card in. It's got an absolutely beautiful and large 1.6 inch screen. One of the largest screens we have from all the smartwatches you're gonna see. And in thickness and bulkiness, it's actually not bad. So Cospit Prime, one of the best full Android smartwatches I have tested this year. So that is number eight. So we're now on number seven, and this is a surprising entry. This watch actually did surprise me. Check this one out, people. Number seven is the Huawei Watch GT2. I said the Fossil 5 was the most beautiful watch you can get. This one surely is a contender for the same subject. It's a very beautifully designed smartwatch. This is basically a souped up fitness tracker. So you've got a very accurate fitness tracker, a whole bunch of apps built in, and this supports Bluetooth phone calls with a very beautifully designed watch, removable straps, five ATM waterproof, and more. It's running Huawei's platform, so you can't run any third party applications, but you do have accurate fitness tracking, a whole bunch of watch faces you can instantly change to, Bluetooth phone calls, and the actual design of the watch is out of this world. So one of the most beautifully designed smartwatches of the year, and it's an absolute treat to put this on your wrist. So this one is number seven, the Huawei Watch GT2. Now, while we're still talking about beauty, number six is of course the Fossil Gen 5. So this was rated one of the best looking smartwatches of the year. You have Google Wear OS, 580M waterproof. You've got a rotating crown for system menus, removable straps. It's a very nice, beautiful, elegant looking watch. But if we just put them side by side, out of these two, which one actually looks better to you? Hmm. Let me know in the description box below. So this is the Fossil Gen 5 at position 6. So at number 5 we have the TicWatch Pro. So this is the original TicWatch Pro, one of the best Google Wear OS smartwatches we've ever seen. But then they went and made a sequel and made it even better. So still a great contender for the best overall smartwatch. You have the official Google Wear OS and the price is something that makes this one seriously attractive. So number five, TicWatch Pro. So what do we have at number four? Let's put it right next to it, shall we? The TicWatch Pro 4G LTE, the new version. Slimmer, lighter, double the RAM. So you've got 4G LTE capability, so it becomes a standalone smartwatch and uses eSIM. Waterproof, so you can go swimming with this one and a lot more. So still running Google Wear OS, it's much faster in operation. It's like blazing fast. One of the best, if not the best, Google Wear OS smartwatch you can currently buy. So number four, we have the TicWatch Pro 4G LTE model. So at number three, we have the Apple Watch Series 5 or Series 4. So this is my number three best smartwatch overall you can buy. Now, if you've got an iPhone, you don't really have a choice. You have to go for the Apple Watch to take advantage of all the iPhone features. So that's number three. It is still a very good watch, a great all-rounder, and it's available in two sizes, so you can get 40 millimeters or 44 millimeters. So that is my number three. Now let's see what's number two. Now if you're following the channel, this might not come to a surprise to you guys, 
my number two smartwatch is the Samsung Galaxy Watch. Now this is the original model, the one with the rotating bezel. And there is something about that rotating bezel which is extremely satisfying. Um, I've actually put a custom bezel on top. So the original bezel is just underneath and I've put a chrome metal blue bezel on top. And it's a beautiful watch. It's served me well. It's 5 ATM waterproof. It's running the Tizen OS, which is customizable. There are loads of apps that you can choose from. You can do Bluetooth phone calls, text messages. You can respond to more or less every notification you receive, including emails, text messages, WhatsApp messages. You name it, you can respond to it on this watch. And then you have the fitness tracking. The most accurate fitness tracking comes second to the Apple Watch. So this is the best all-round smartwatch but it's at number two it means there is something better than this watch i guess it's happened and the only company that could make a watch better than this watch is samsung themselves the best overall smartwatch that money can buy is the samsung galaxy active 2 and this watch does everything that the original galaxy watch does the phone calls respond to more or less every notification, including WhatsApp, text messages, answer phone calls, make phone calls, 5 ATM waterproof. The way the watch faces are designed, it gives you an almost bezel-less look. And I, I absolutely love the screen quality. This is actually on the lowest brightness right now. And responsive home screen, sleep tracking, health tracking, fitness, everything is automated. Battery life is superb. You can get two to three day battery life very easily. It is 5 ATM, removable straps. It's the most comfortable and the lightest watch I've ever used. So if money is not an issue and you want the best smartwatch with the best overall features, Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 is my pick for 2019. So that was my top 10, but we're not quite finished there. The smartwatch world is quite extensive and forever changing. And whilst my top 10 will tell you what is the best smartwatch money can buy right now. But that being said, in case you're looking for something more particular and to help you people narrow things down, I have a few more noteworthy smartwatches to share with you guys. Now, if you have an iPhone, there is no doubt the best smartwatch for you is going to be the Apple Watch. And I highly recommend the new Series 4 or Series 5. Now, if you're looking for a smartwatch running full Android, then the best I've tested this year has to be the Cospit Prime and the Z-Blaze Thor 5. Now, the beauty of the full Android smartwatches is you have the full Google Play Store. You can run any Android game or app. On the back, you have a SIM card slot, so you can remove the trays and you can insert a SIM card and you can use this as a standalone smartphone watch. So effectively, make and receive phone calls directly on the watch, send text messages. You can use this as a complete standalone device. You can install Snapchat, WhatsApp. You have cameras. So the Cosbit Prime has two cameras and a massive 1.6 inch screen. And the Thor 5 has a 1.39 inch screen with a single camera. So both of these smartwatches are quite powerful. They're running full Android 7. And these two watches especially gave me the best performance and battery life from the entire range. So that's the Cospit Prime and the Z-Blaze Thor 5. Now the next batch of worthy mentions is from the Google Wear OS. Now Google Wear OS is the official OS for Google's smartwatches. It's probably one of the best operating systems you can get for a smartwatch. The best Google Wear OS smartwatches I have tested this year are these. So from right to left, we have the TickWatch C2. So you have a beautiful looking watch with an AMOLED display powered by the Snapdragon 2100 processor. You have NFC IP68 rating with removable straps. And next up, we have the original TickWatch Pro with a 1.4 inch dual layer display, Snapdragon chip with NFC IP68 rating and removable straps. And then we have arguably the best looking smartwatch of 2019, of course, the Fossil Gen 5. Now you have a 1.3 inch AMOLED display, Snapdragon 3100, 3 ATM waterproof rating, removable straps, and lots more. And the best from the bunch, in my opinion, the TicWatch Pro 4G LTE. So this is the latest version of the TicWatch. It has more or less all the same features as the original model, but it's slightly slimmer and lighter, has double the RAM, 
and supports 4G LTE, so it can be used as a standalone smartphone with an eSIM. Really nice job by TicWatch releasing the newer model. And I tell you right now, it's much smoother and faster in operation than any of the previous TicWatch models. So if you really want Google Wear OS, here are the watches I recommend. Now the next category is quite an important one, but gets somehow overlooked by most. The small wrist category. So if you've got small wrists, whether you're male or female, this is what I recommend for you guys. So starting from low end to high end, TicWatch C2, nice, small and light on the wrist. Beautiful looking watch. Samsung Galaxy Watch Active, the first model. Look at the size of that. Again, comfortable, removable straps, IP68 waterproof and you will see all the specs on the screen, so I'm not gonna read them out for each one. That's another good one. So the Samsung Galaxy Watch, original version, beautiful watch, absolutely one of my favorites, and it's quite good to know that you can pick this watch up in a much smaller size. Now the next watch, I actually can't find the box for. It's the Apple Watch Series 4 or 5, 40 millimeters. So again, top quality watch the best you can get for an apple iphone so apple watch series 4 or series 5 so i'm just going to chuck it on top of this random box so the best from the bunch has to be the samsung galaxy active 2 this watch is an absolute beauty it's small it's very light it's waterproof this is currently my favorite smartwatch. so if you have a small wrist and you want the best then you're looking at it right now samsung galaxy active 2 this watch truly does it all. So those were the best smartwatches you can buy if you have a small wrist. So before you ask me in the comments below, what is the best fitness tracker or fitness band? Well, here they are. There are hundreds of different wristband fitness tracking watches you can get, but the best I've tested all year round came right at the end, the Honor Band 5 and the Xiaomi Band 4. Both of these watches are 5 ATM. You can go swimming, color screens, You've got over 14 day battery life, absolutely wonderful fitness trackers. And the price these are currently going for, I think this should be at the top of your Christmas shopping list. So the best fitness tracking bands I have ever used all year round, Xiaomi Band 4 and Honor Band 5. There you have it guys. I will link all of these watches in the description box below. But above all, I hope you guys found this video useful. Do let me know which watch you like from the bunch and which one you're going to be buying for yourself, for your family member or a friend. So, yeah, I would like to know your thoughts. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.